Hi there everyone, this is just a quick follow up to the Mobula 7 HD video I put out uh, a few weeks ago now and there's a couple of things I wanted to get straight because I got one thing completely wrong and another thing I hadn't noticed a problem um, and this is the problem and it was pointed out to me by uh, my buddy NJ Tech who said if you look at the right hand corner of the screen you'll see some sort of lines there in the way and there's a fix for this and I've got to be honest I did not notice at the time I reviewed the video that there were some but um, if you look on the top right hand uh, area of the screen especially where you've got the sky and the clouds there it's quite visible that there's sort of faint uh, horizontal lines going on it's not always obvious to me when I was watching it back on my computer but it is a bit more obvious on YouTube and I actually had a look at, on my editor this is Final Cut Pro X and when I pause the picture I actually get a very obvious looking thing on the screen there now this doesn't I don't think this is actually a sort of true image it's just a sort of perhaps a compression or sizing artifact that it happens but it's, it's a bit more obvious anyway NJ pointed me to this post by uh, happy model describing the problem and describing the fix which was very useful so I got hold of the firmware update and I stuck it on the card and this is how I updated the file if you check beforehand you will see the date of the update and the version number. Now it's important to say that the version number doesn't change so check the date. Uh, once you've checked that put the card in with the firmware on the file. The Cadex will report that it's updating its firmware which is quite handy you can actually see what it's doing after which point it will sort of just stop and you need to reset the power. At this point you can reboot it, check the firmware version and you should see that the date has changed even though the, the version hasn't but you'll also need to go back and sort your settings out like I took off the OSD display and turned on auto recording. So we'll come to test that in a, a second but the, the mistake I made was on these props I reported that I've got these weird little HQ props and they didn't seem to fit. Um, I actually tried installing them and they didn't seem to go all the way down and just would catch on the end of the frame. And I actually talked to Happy Model about this and they said no, they, they fit fine. They, they, these are the right props. We wanted to give the customers another option. These are lighter than the original props. They're quieter. They got less power, but we figured it's for sort of people on 2S uh, who are flying indoors. We wanted to give them another option. I was like, oh, I've got that wrong. So let's try installing them again. Yes, so these props absolutely do fit. It's just a case of making sure you push them on all the way down. And as soon as that happens, they do clear. So you're looking to try and get no gap between the motor and the prop itself. They just sort of sit there nicely. Well, here we are with the little Mobula HD with those props and we've got the washing machine going in the background. I just want to give it a quick line of sight hover just to make sure it feels okay. And then we'll have a quick zip around the house just to see how it feels and see if we've got that um, problem corrected with the uh, firmware for the Cadex. We'll take it outside into the garden, look up at the sky, see if we get those sort of interlace effects. But let's uh, do a quick hover first. Yeah, hovering about 50%, so not quite as much power, I would say. Feels quite solid. All right, let's FPV it. Okay, so we're up and flying with the HQ props indoors on a 2S LiPo, and yeah, it feels good. We can also see, uh, and it's more obvious outdoors, that the problem with the lines has disappeared at least it has for me when I look at the uh, editing software and hopefully we won't get any weird artifacting on uh, YouTube also these props I don't really notice uh, a distinct lack of power they they feel pretty good I'm only on 2s here as I mentioned but it, it's all it's all feeling fine and I've got plenty of power I do also notice that these props are pretty smooth one of the uh, small issues I had with the the Mobula 7 I thought it was a great quad but it did have a little bit of jello on the HD camera with the the props we were using and I'm wondering yeah they're saying these props have less power and stuff but should I try flying them outside properly and see how it goes because uh, just here going in and out of my garden I seem to be getting a pretty damn good picture better than the the previous props of course HQ are an excellent prop maker it's really a question of are, the, are these going to give enough outside or we're we going to feel lacking in power now i would say that's the end of the story and say hey so when you get your 
your weird set of HQ props and you think you've got the wrong ones, don't don't worry, you haven't. But I, I got a comment just recently with a guy saying, yeah, these are definitely wrong. I got two sets of the original props. So I don't know if Happy Model uh, have changed it around and sort of not given these props anymore or it's sort of slight potluck or, or what. But if you do get them, they work absolutely fine and I might give them another go outside in sort of a, a more proper flight to see how they feel, to see if you get a better image on the camera. Anyway, that's been my quick update. So there's one thing about updating the camera, another thing about, hey, I got the props all wrong, they're absolutely fine and work well. Hope that's been helpful and I'll catch you next video. Bye for now. Well, you've made it to the end of the video, so thanks once again for watching. If you like what you saw, then please consider subscribing. And if you really like what you saw, then be sure to check out the link to my blog for a variety of ways in which you can help support this channel.